Awesome. Okay. Awesome. So hi, Rachel. So we are chatting today about a new reality show coming to Peacock on Thursday, January 12th called The Traders. Um, I'm so excited. Um, <laughs> it's so exciting. Um, so let's start off with, can you tell me a bit about the concept of the show and how you got involved in the show? Yeah, definitely. I even, I was going to say I wore my gown for you with yes. my uh, Scottish jacket. <laughs> I wanted to look very uh, very much like I was in a castle for you because we yeah. lived in a castle in the Scottish Highlands for this which was I mean it was so epic it's so different than any other experience I've had on a reality show it's so glamorous although castles are cold <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's true that in, like the brochure <laughs> <laughs> yeah the trailer um, was like reminding me of Game of Thrones I was like Ooh, yeah. so magical <laughs> it was so it's so magical and the crazy thing is like the fog makes it more magical in the mornings and then I think like you know all obviously like the castle and the scenery and the lakes and all the grounds but like there's something about being in the Scottish Highlands that's just magical it just feels more magical um so yeah so I got involved with this show um they called me and told me about it and they were like it's going to be like um, a whodunit, like a game of mafia or werewolf. Um, these are like popular games that people play. Um, and there's these like murderers or traitors. And, um, you know, there's going to be three traitors. There's going to be faithfuls. Everyone's competing for $250,000. Um, you have to earn the money along the way. And I was like, this sounds like right up my alley. This sounds like an amazing show that I need to be part of. Um, I'm really excited to work with Peacock. I've had such a great experience working with NBC Universal, and um, I'm so excited to join the Peacock family. And um, I think so far, everything we've seen from the trailers to the video shoots to the like, uh, you know, the pictures, everything is, it's so glamorous. Like it's so fun and magical and over the top, which I'm really excited about. I think it's going to be like a whodunit over the top competition show. Yeah, totally. Um, and so there was a version in the UK. Did you get yeah. to watch that version at all before filming or did you kind of go in totally blind? You know what? That's funny. They filmed the UK version after they filmed the US version. Oh. So they filmed Australia. I think they started filming like right around when we filmed, but they had the Dutch version. So I, being the researcher that I am, I literally, I prep for these competition shows by doing all, everything I could think of for competitions, getting in like excellent physical shape, doing puzzles, doing whatever I think I could, you know, that would be on one of these shows. And then um, for this one in particular, I watched as much as I could of the Dutch version, but they only gave us a few episodes in English. So I, I found the episodes and I didn't know what they were saying, but I was like, I, I get the idea. I know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, cool. <laughs> like, but it did not prepare me at all for the experience. Yeah. It's like, I feel like you can never fully prepare because it's so much about how the people behave and yeah, totally. Um, 100%. Yeah. So you knew some of the other reality stars going into the game. Like you just did Snake in the Grass with Suri and Stephanie and like Cody's and the Big Brother family. Do you feel that knowing some of the stars going in was an advantage or was it a disadvantage because they know you and they know if you're lying, <laughs> and they know how you strategize? You'll have to see what, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, when you binge it on Peacock, um, the releasing all the episodes at once was just super unique for a competition show. We don't normally see that, but I think it's really cool because we're going to get to get really involved and we can just keep going, you know, like unlike other shows where you're like, what is going to happen? It's like, we already can like just run through and, and binge like every single episode. So you would think going into this that I would, you know, maybe have an advantage, you know, maybe it would be nice to see familiar faces, but you never know who you can trust because literally there's traitors and someone is out to murder someone and there's banishments, there's murders, there's backstabbing, there's treachery, there's sabotage. So to be honest, like you think you can go in, but it's not the same type of game as Big Brother where you form these alliances and the alliances stick together or like a survivor. It's ugh, so different. I don't think I could have been prepared for what to expect. Yeah, that's so true. Because I was thinking like, 
with you guys on Big Brother and Survivor, like you're kind of trained in deception, whereas like The Bachelor, maybe they're not. But then you guys have like the stigma of like, oh, those Big Brother people, you got to watch out for them. So it's like, there's no way to really prepare. A hundred percent. And I definitely think that that was a reoccurring theme in the beginning where people were watching out for the Big Brother and Survivor people. Yeah. But it's such a different game that I don't think that my big brother experience prepared me for it, to be honest, like even snake in the grass, which, you know, we had like, there was a snake, right? Um, I don't think that I was prepared for this type of like sabotage and backstabbing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Um, and Alan Cumming is the host of this show. What was it like working with him? Was this your first time meeting him? Yeah. This was my first time meeting him and he is amazing. He is <laughs> made for this show. It's like, it's crazy. Like first seeing him in the Scottish regalia, like he looks, you know, just like amazing. This is his home turf, you know? Um, but like, he's so fun and he's so funny and just getting to be with him. I felt like I was in a scripted series, like being with Alan, like, I felt like he, he could have been hosting the Hunger Games or it could have been like any other type of big, these big, you know, movies because he was just so fun and he was just, he made the experience so much more epic. And I think everyone that watches the show is going to love that about him, that he makes the experience so much more epic and he makes it so fun. Like when I, we were in New York for the press thing recently and I um, had such a great time and just like getting to know him and I, I told him I was like you just made this experience so much more fun and just you really like made this for me like it's that he's that epic of a host if that makes any sense mm -hmm. oh I love yeah. that I'm so excited to see him and just see it in general oh it's so um, fun <laughs> <laughs> so you worked with people from Bravo and The Bachelor this time around had you seen those shows or did you know about those stars beforehand or did you kind of first meet them on the show? Yeah, I was a hundred percent of a huge fan of all of those stars. Like Reza, are you kidding me? Like <laughs> really meeting Reza and playing a game with him. It was like, that was so surreal. Cause I'm a huge Reza fan and Shaw's of sunset fan. Um, so Kate, I obviously knew who she was. I knew Kyle going into this. I knew Ryan, you know, this is funny. I haven't talked about this in any other interview. I interviewed Brandy Glanville for my show. I used to have in 2014 for reality relapse. And I was like, I've met her probably, you know, a handful of times just in LA doing stuff. And I was like, Oh yeah, Brandy, I've met you before. And she's like, I don't recall. I meet a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so like I her. Was like, <laughs> she should be on my radar <laughs> and she was um on big brother too celebrity so you guys on celebrity big brother. Yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah she asked me um when she met me she's like oh what do you do because you know there's like uh reality people and there's like non-reality people so she was like oh what do you do and and you know for work or whatever and I was like I'm on reality tv too brandy <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah oh that's so funny I love it that makes sense as a Bravo fan I'm like yeah that sounds like Brandy yeah. <laughs> um so what can in general what can viewers expect from the show I think they're gonna expect an adventure that they haven't been on it's very unique um it's really fun it's a really fun uh dramatic uh there's like comedy there's drama there's competition there's sabotage and backstabbing there's crying a lot of crying <laughs> there's um a lot of like there's a lot of really fun moments there's probably a lot of like really uh you know we do a lot of really cool team building things so there's like a lot of times when people are overcoming fears things like that I think it's going to be a show that people are going to really enjoy watching um obviously for the drama and the backstabbing but also for the psychological like experience because it's a very psychological game and be coming from a background where I've played these like competition shows it's so different than Big Brother you could nothing could have prepared you for it because there's no way to save yourself there's no way to get into power there's no way to like you know you have you're doing these team building skills with people that are literally lying to your face every second so like on Big Brother at least you can like 
you know, put all that energy toward like winning something for yourself. And here it's like, you have to still be a team member. And then you have to like, get out of being a team member because those same people are, you know, lying to you about something. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's so true. And in Snake in the Grass, there was one liar versus there right. two liars in this. So it's just a lot more moving parts. A lot of moving parts and no way to save yourself, no clues. Like in Snake in the Grass, we had clues. I kept asking, can we get a clue? Like what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, and then last question, Rachel, if you had to describe the show in three words, what would they be? Ooh, uh, murder, treachery, <laughs> and sabotage. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. <laughs> yeah. right. It's a really fun show. So, Absolutely. Like, be watching probably all 10 episodes in a day or two. <laughs> yay! Me too. I know, me too. I probably will watch it in a day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Well, thank you so much, Rachel, for your time. Yay! Thank you so much. This was such of a pleasure course. as always. Yep, of course. Bye, Rachel. Thank Bye. you.